good morning students so let's start the class today and uh, already we have learned about the third chapter in this we have seen the eating habits of the animals okay eating habits of animals in this chapter we have seen the way how the animals are eating the food means on the basis of that they are classified into three categories so i think you all are going through the chapter and uh, you can now today you just take your notebook of general science and you can take the pencil pencil you can note down the exercise in the notebook itself okay and i also give homework in the last okay the last so you have to do your class work as, as well as your homework same like you are doing in this in the school okay and i hope you all are keeping fine stay home stay safe okay so let's start the class today so we have seen about the plant eating animals means those who eat the plant only they feed on the plant only such type of animals are called the herbivores then we have seen about the flesh eating animals those who are depend on the flesh of other animals for their food is called the carnivores or the flesh eating animals then we have seen both plants and animals both plants and flesh eating animals like the uh, in that crow bear dog rat they we saw where the best example of the omnivores or the those who eat both plant and animals okay understood so this were the three categories we have seen first is omnivore uh, herbivore carnivores and omnivores then we have seen how the animal eat food means the way of eating the process how the animal eat the food so first we have seen what the herbivores we have already learned about the herbivores they have the process called chewing the cud in that they take the food swallow the food as a whole without chewing it remember without chewing it already we have discussed about this no Uh, uh, once again, I am dividing it. So in this, what they do? They just swallow the food as a whole. Then they chew the food. Then they, uh, means at the same time they don't do the food. They just swallow the uh, whole food. After some time, they take the food from the stomach of the pouch and they chew it well and again they digest. So again they swallow. It. So this is the process for chewing the cud. Cud is the food. Then we have seen about the gnawing animals. Means in that rat and the squirrel, they have soft front teeth for tearing or for eating the seeds and like that things. Then we have seen about the giraffe, some wild animals, but they come in herbivores. Giraffe, they have very long neck, and with the help of that, it can take the, it can eat the leaves and uh, branches of a tall tree also. Then we have seen about the elephant. Elephant has trunk. With that, they grasp the food. Then we have seen about the carnivores. Most of the flesh-eating animals have soft, hard, front teeth for tearing the flesh of the hunted animals. Then they have grinding back teeth. Then they have strong, short, sharp uh, paws for catching the prey. Then we have seen about the uh, some birds, like not some birds, all the birds. they also have cross pointed strong beaks that help them to tear flesh or to eat the food then you see now the some insects mostly insects they feed on the liquid food example we have seen about the butterfly very common insect that we can see in our surrounding that is the butterfly butterfly very beautiful and very common then about the mosquito that is very very common that is present in your in our houses without any welcome they will come and they will just rule our house so mosquitoes they suck the blood of the human beings they suck the blood they feed on the blood then you see the butterfly butterfly feed on the liquid food that is the on the juice of the flower means on the nectar they feed on the nectar of the Flowers. Then we have to know the dog and cat. They lap up milk with the tongue. 
then lap up the milk with the tongue then we have seen out the foot chain foot chain that is that what is foot chain a foot chain is the sequence of who it whom okay it is the sequence of who it whom so in this what happens one uh organism is depend upon the other for their food then all food chain start with a green plant and end with a large plus eater okay it start with a green plant and end with a large plus eater then it maintain a balance what is the important work of food chain why it is most important why it is very why it is not why it is very necessary for the environment why because in order to maintain a balance in order to maintain a balance in the nature we want a very good food chain then we have seen you know, the domestic animals they help in our daily work example cow buffalo baby buffalo also milk and milk products cow buffalo goat then we have seen you know, the donkey horse camel they use, we can use uh, easily use them for to carry the load from places to place one place to other place then what we should do how to take care of the domestic animals give them proper food and shelter give them proper food and shelter clean them by giving a bath or wash regularly we should clean them by giving a bath or a wash regularly then take them to veterinary hospital when they fall sick so we should take them to the that may be hospital when they fall sick so that's all about the chapter already we have learned and today we revise also so this is the main point we should go through and today we will go through the worksheet or we will solve the exercise of the chapter so ready okay so let's start the class means the exercise so first is the fill in the blank Fill in the blanks with a appropriate word. Fill in the blanks with a appropriate word. So first is a giraffe uses its long gas to eat leaves from tall trees. Okay. So here, first answer is a giraffe uses its long neck. What is curious? The first answer will be that neck. Okay, next. Then second one. An elephant uses its long gas to break off leaves and twigs. What the elephant use? The elephant uses trunk. The elephant uses trunk in order to in order to break off leaves and twigs. Then third one is that dog and cat dash of milk. Dog and cat lap off. They lap, lap of milk. Then fourth one, butterfly and bee suck dust from flower. Butterfly and bee suck nectar. That is the nectar is what? That is the juice of the flower. So they suck the nectar from the flower. Then fifth one, all food can start with a dust plant and end with a large flesh eater. This is a lady today also. I discuss that it start with a green plant and end with a large flat eater, right? Then this is the A part, and now we can see the B part. That is, pick the right answer. Second is that pick the right answer. In this, the first question is plant eating animals are called herbivores. What it is called herbivores. Those who depend on plants for their food or for the herbivores. Then, second is, and option is herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. So the right option will be the herbivores. Then, an elephant uses its long gas. Uh, sorry, flesh-eating animals are also called what? Flesh-eating. That is the. Have we both carnivores and omnivores? So the right answer will be the carnivores. Right answer will be the carnivores. They depend on the flesh for their food. Then third is the animals that eat both 
plant and flesh of other animals are also called the omnivores what they call omnivores animals that eat both plant and flesh of other animals are called the are also called the omnivores means they they eat both plant and animal so they will be known as the omnivores then the next one is carnivores and frogs have the options are a first point is b for second option a long stick is tongue and the third option is sharp first teeth so the right answer will be a long stick tongue okay a long a long stick a long stick tongue will be the right answer a long stick tongue okay here you have to pick the right answer long a uh, tongue a long stick tongue then fifth one rabbit rat and squirrel are the options are knowing animals carnivorous animals omnivorous animals so rabbit rat and squirrel are knowing animals yes they are knowing animals rabbit rat and squirrel are the knowing animals okay then here third is what do you think this animal is driving around the correct food in the lake that you can just here to here three table is there and the, the uh, just what you have to do which animal eat which type of food so you have to just round the food here so you can take the book i think you all have received the book so you just take the book and then you can mark you can round up the correct answer i think you have done this one of first is next uh, second one last third one fourth next fifth green okay so next we can see the round the correct option what kind of food the animal is so here we will see lion the option is grass meat and fish we know that lion is not a herbivore it will not eat the mango and grapes no it is a carnivore so it will depend on meat that is a flesh no so first is meat second giraffe animal is giraffe and what does it eat nip insect and meat so we know giraffe is a herbivore so it will never in, uh, eat the insect and meat no so what it will eat it eat the leaf it eat the leaf of the tree so giraffe will eat the leaf then third is what is the third one frog frog eat grass fish and insect so frog eat the insect so the right option will be the insect frog eat the insect then fourth one will be the elephant eat leaf fish and meat what do the elephant eat it is the leaf fish and meat so the right option will be the leaf elephant is herbivore it is vegetarian then what about the butterfly it feed on the liquid food that is the nectar grass and meat so butterfly is such the nectar fifth one is the nectar right then next is the match the following with the correct option so you have to match the following understood let to match it so first is lion tiger and all will come in the lion tiger and wolf will come in the just note it down okay so first is lion tiger lion tiger and wolf lion tiger and wolf will come in the carnivorous animals they will come in the carnivorous carnivorous 
animal. Carnivora animal. Okay. Second is cow, giraffe, and elephant will come in the carnivorous animal. Cow, giraffe, and elephant. Cow, giraffe, and elephant will come in the herbivorous animal. Herbi, herbivorous. Animal, okay. Understood. Yes. Then next is third one. Third one is the rabbit, rat, and squirrel are annoying animals. Yes. Rabbit, rat, rabbit, rat, and squirrel are the annoying animals. Rabbit, rat, and squirrel. They are the knowing animals. Nothing else but the knowing animals. Here the B is silent. So they are the knowing animals. Okay. Then the fifth one is, uh, sorry, fourth one is, B is dog and monkey will come in the omnivore animals. They eat both plant and animals. B is dog and monkey. B is Dog and monkey will come in the omnivore animal. They will come in the omnivore, omnivore animal. They will come in the omnivore animal. Then, so this is the map we follow. In first step, lion, tiger, and wolf will come in omnivore animals. How giraffe and elephant have the both animals. Rabbit, rat, and squirrel, annoying animals. Then deer, dog, and monkey are omnivore animals. Then I think we have math. Okay. So next, next we can go for the answer we follow. So just be ready with your notebook and the pencil. So we can go for the answer we following question. Answer the following question. So first is, what is, what is third theory? Answer the following. In this, answer, answer the following. In your notebook, first, how you will start writing? First, write the chapter or lesson 3. Then, you have to write the heading of the chapter. Eating habit of animals. Eating habit of animals. Then, the first question is, question number 1 is, what is curd chewing? What is curd? This answer is somewhat long because it is a slow shape and at least you have to Write to the main point here. So, what is the cut chewing? So, answer will be answer will be we have to explain the process only. So, here we have to write the animal like cow, buffalo, and goat first follow the food without chewing. After some time, they bring back the solid food to the mouth. So, here we have to write animals like animals like. Cow, goat, buffalo, etc. Goat. First, first they follow the food as a whole. First they, first they follow the, first they follow the food as without chewing it. So here they. They follow the food. They follow the food. Food without chewing it. Okay. They follow the food without chewing it. Without chewing it. Then after some time, they 
after some time they bring back the followers food to their mouth from the stomach after some time after some time they bring they bring back the they bring back the follow food to their mouth back the they bring back the follow follow food they bring back the follow food to their mouth from the stomach to their mouth and and they chew the food and they chew the food they chew the food after that again they chew the food or grind the food and follow it and or grind the food and follow it they follow the food this process is called curd chewing or chewing the curd this process is called this process is called called curd chewing this process is called curd chewing okay curd chewing right so in this we have seen about the animal like the so what is curd chewing in this we have seen animals like cow goat first they follow the food without chewing it after some time they bring back the followers food to their mouth and they chew the food and follow it again they chew the food and follow it this process is called cut chew this process is called the cut chew okay so you can note it down then we can see the then we can go to the next question that is the next question is why do carnivores have soft soft teeth why do carnivores have why do carnivores why do carnivores have sharp for teeth sharp for teeth okay so we can write the answer carnivores are fast for feed for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal they have sharp for feed for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal nothing else okay for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal so the answer will be the carnivore has sharp for has sharp for teeth for tearing for tearing carnivores have sharp for teeth for tearing the flesh for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal they do, they are by hunting only they do to get the food na so for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal hunted animal okay tearing the flesh of the hunted animal then the third question is the third question is what type of bee do carnivores birds have okay what type of bee do the carnivores birds Question is, what type of bee do the carnivores birds have? Bird type. 
question what type of bee do the carnivores do the carnivores carnivores what have okay what type of bee they have so here so here carnivores what has soft for feet for tearing the flesh uh, here we have seen carnivores have soft for feet for tearing the flesh of the hunted animal then here carnivores have soft pointed beak that help them to tear flesh what do you mean carnivores what type of bee is carnivores bot what type of bee do the carnivores bot have bot okay bot have so the right answer will be the carnivores what has four pointed beak that have them to tear flesh they have they have sharp claws they have sharp claws for beak for tearing they have sharp cut beak for sharp cut pointed beak that has them to tear flesh sharp cut pointed beak yeah sorry they have pointed also you guys they have sharp cut pointed beak pointed beak to tear the flesh to tear the flesh so they are flesh eating only so they should have a sharp cut pointed sharp cut pointed beak to tear the flesh so what will be the answer question is what type of beak do the carnivores bird have so they have sharp cut pointed beak to tear the flesh okay next question is question of four that is what is question explain with the help of a diagram so i think this question you have done so next question that is fourth is the you have to tell about the food chain you have to tell about the food chain that is what is food chain question number four is what is food what is food chain explain explain with the help of a diagram explain with help of a diagram help of a diagram diagram okay so first we write the definition or what is the food chain a food chain is the sequence of who eats who a food chain is the sequence of who eats who okay a food chain is the sequence is the sequence of who eats who food chain is the sequence of who eats who then it is start with a green plant and end with a large flesh eater okay it start with a green plant start with a green plant and end with a large flesh eater and and with large flesh eater this question i think you have completed so the carnivores bird and with a large flesh eater then you have to just uh, draw a arrow diagram okay flesh eater then you have to draw the diagram also let's see with the help of a diagram 
So you have to uh, diagram example a plant. Then after the plant, you have the caterpillar. A caterpillar. A caterpillar. Then a frog. Plant with a caterpillar. Need the plant. Then the a frog will eat the snake. This frog. Frog. Then a snake. A snake. And then snake will eat the owl. And owl. So this will be the. This will be the food chain. Okay, this will be the food chain. And the last question is here. Let to write what the how can we take care of the domestic animals? How can how can we take care? How can we take care of the care of domestic animals? Domestic. and so you can write three points here first is first point is give them proper food and shelter give them proper food and shelter give them proper food and shelter food and shelter then clean them by giving a wash and bath regularly next is clean them you have to clean them clean them by giving a bath by giving a bath regularly bath regularly regularly and the last thing take them to veterinary hospital when they fall sick So what you have to do? You have to take them to the veterinary hospital. Food chain, I think you have completed. Food chain. So the last thing, take them to veterinary hospital. See, take them to. Veterinary, vet, veterinary hospital. When they fall sick, hospital. When they fall sick, when they fall sick, right? When they fall sick. So these are the. So this is the question. Last question is how can we take care of the domestic animals? So the answer will be three point eight right. Give them proper food and shelter. Second one, clean them by giving a bath regularly. Then to clean them by giving a bath regularly. And the last point is take them to veterinary hospital when they fall sick. Take them to veterinary veterinary hospital means a hospital where Treatment is given to the animals. Treatment is given to the animals. There are doctors who have studied about the animals. They are animal specialists and they give the medicine and treatment for animals only. So you have to take them to the veterinary hospital. Then, what are the food chain? Food chain already I have explained. A chicken starts to eat food and start with a green plant and end with a large flesh eater. Then, example is. Plant, a caterpillar will eat the plant. A frog will eat the caterpillar. A snake will eat the frog, and owl will eat the snake. So like this, it continues. So it always start with a green plant and end with a large plant eater. Okay, it always start with a green plant and end with a large plant eater. So what you have to do? Your homework will be. You have 
to just take the other part you take and you have to draw the push chain okay you have to draw the push chain here understood you have to draw the different type of push chain you can draw different type of push chain you can draw okay so your homework will be draw a draw a push chain draw a push chain other than what is given in book from that you have to different push chain you can draw you can start with a plan in that you can include the human being also you can you know uh, what we eat and how we are depend so you can go through the you can go through the uh, this no uh, for another push chain also so in this chapter we have so this is all about the exercise and the point of the chapter so in this we have seen about the what things we have learned here the main points are animal needs to, to grow to get energy and to be in good health then some animal eat only plants so they are called herbivores some eat only the animal so plants of other animals so they are called carnivores then some animals eat both plants and plants of other animals so they are called the omnivores so they are called the omnivores then different animal have different type of feet because of their feeding habit then cow buffalo and squirrels are knowing animals they are knowing animals then food chain food chain we have seen in nature all living things depend on each other to live so a food chain is a sequence of who eats whom it is a sequence of who eats whom for example we have seen a plant is eaten by an insect the insect in turn is eaten by a frog which may be eaten up by a snake so frog will be eaten up by the snake and the snake is eaten by the owl so like this the fear one becomes food for another creature so one creature becomes the food for the another creature and this process is called the food chain so this process is called the food chain so in maintain a balance in the nature then we have seen about the domestic animals they are very useful to us and like the cow buffalo goat a donkey horse and etc we have seen here and they are also known as pet animals also like the cow and dog they come in uh, sorry uh, this dog and cat they come in pet as well as the domestic they also will be come in that category also like the dog we know very powerful animal no it guard our house we don't have to keep a watchman there to watch our house so what do that they do the dog they just guard our house very powerful okay they guard our house then we have seen about the so here some more facts you should know about this chapter that is a camion found twice the length of its body do you know that camion camion the tongue is twice mean suppose this is the body of a camion and the tongue will be double the body double double of this body okay like this much so the here the fact is the camion tongue is twice as length of its body then monkey and ape grab things with their hands monkey and ass grab things with their hands like the human being then some carnivores hunt in groups called packs okay some carnivores eat uh, hunt in a group we, uh, you know that or we know that that when we do something in a group together it is very good as it is very easily we do the work for the work if we do work together in a community so the carnivores hunt in groups called the pack then hippopotamus usually come out of the water to eat the plants so hippopotamus is a water sea animal 
means the uh, water area sorry it are only live in the uh, area where the uh, water and mountain and all the type of things are present and it starts only to eat the plant nothing else they snake smell with the stalk not with the leaf but of the snake they smell with their stalk not with the leaf so that's why if you carefully watch a snake you can see in within second it take out tongue in and out in and out out and in out and in so why not to smell the thing smell the food something is there or some spray is coming it is near uh, me so like this the snake will of the origin smell the spray then this help them to track down the things to eat so in order to have to track not to track Track means not to know the location. How much far the spray is from me? Okay, so this helps them to track down things to eat. Now to eat the food, they track the food with the help of the tongue only. Then here we can see the word power. Word power of the chapter. So what is spray? An animal that is hunted and killed for food by another animal. Called a prey. Prey, an animal that is hunted and killed for food by another animal, is called the prey. Then what is cut? Food brought back from the stomach by animals such as cows to chew again. So cut is the food brought back from the stomach by the animals such as cows to chew it again is called the cut. Cut. That that is the question also asked. No, what is the cut chew? What is the But chew. So it it is nothing else. Means it is the process of taking out the food from the stomach and again grinding and chewing, it. and then again they swallow the food as food after some time. So this process is uh, they are known as the cut chewing or chewing the cut. Then what is the question? Question also we have seen which so how a living thing depend on each other for the food. Okay. So here. Uh, sometimes you think that uh, what is the need of snake? What is the need of frog? Why they are there? So if one creature will, will not be killed by another, the number of one creature will be it will be increased more and more. And last, so it will be very difficult if the number of creatures will be increased. So not to maintain a balance, one should be eaten by another. One should be eaten by another. So like this, the food chain continues. Like this, the food chain continues. So here, in order to maintain its balance, so it always start with a green plant. It always start with a green plant, like cow, buffalo also. They also depend on the where for the plant as their food. So they will eat the plant or the grasses plant in the spring, and. After some time, or uh, uh, they will be, or the giraffe also. Uh, so take the example of giraffe also. It will depend on the leaves or branches of a tree for the food. It will depend on the leaves and branches of the tree for the food. And in turn, after that, uh, it will be giraffe will eat the leaves of fruit or flowers of the plant. And in turn, after that, it will be eaten up by the big lion or tiger. Big lion and tiger, and when the lion and tiger they are killed or die, they will be eaten up by the vultures. They will be eaten by the vultures. They eat the flesh of the, or they will be eaten up by the carnivorous animals. They will be eaten up by the carnivorous uh, animals or birds especially. And when this birds die, carnivorous birds die, they will be eaten up by the how? They will be eaten by the viruses and bacteria. Viruses and bacteria, and we know that viruses and bacteria, they are very microscopic. We cannot see with our naked eye. We have to see them by using the microscope only. But they are very dangerous. Just you can have see the example. Some are useful, no doubt. Some are useful, but most of them are very harmful. Most of them are very harmful for the life. So just now you can see the, especially the virus. It is very difficult to 
make a vaccine or a suitable proper treatment for the viruses so uh, you take the example of corona virus now how a single virus corona virus how much disaster or is it became endemic pandemic means it is spread on a large scale means it covers most almost all of the all the country in our world and it is spreading on a large scale without any vaccination and a proper treatment so a lot of people die and they are all are suffering from it so viruses they have a what they have they have a protein or they have a layer that is very difficult to break it and or to kill it because it is a link between the living and non living viruses are the link between the living and the non living thing so what what they uh, so that is very difficult to kill off virus okay or it is uh, very difficult to uh, prepare any vaccine or a proper medicine for it then what are the bacteria bacteria are also the microscopic animals only and uh, some are then some are useful like the bacteria lactobacteria which uh, which is present in the milk they are very helpful because they just convert the milk into curd they just convert the milk into curd so they are very useful bacteria they are very useful bacteria then what about the so bacteria viruses on all the this microorganism some are useful few not with the percentage in the soil but most of them are very harmful for us okay like when we are uh, sneezing coughing and all the virus bacteria uh, which are it can also can will be transfer from the one person to another for that not to uh, save ourselves from this spread or this uh, and endemic we have to protect ourselves okay so that's all about the chapter so i think you have written the exercise so tomorrow we will go for the next chapter okay thank you